ich habe jetzt noch eine Sprecherin, die ist aus Kanada hier und äh, sie ist schon sehr lange Aktivistin im Bereich Genmanipulation und so weiter und so fort. Und äh, willkommen, herzlich willkommen, vielleicht kannst du dich kurz selbst verstehen. Welcome for, to Heidi aus Kanada. Hello, can you hear me? My name is Heidi Osterman and I'm a full-time activist in Canada. I'm not a talkivist, I'm an activist. T Hello Berlin, today the world stands united against Monsanto. We are here as Canadians from Canada to tell you what Monsanto has done to our country and warn you not to allow the same devastation to occur to your So you can choose to buy them. And Europe refuses to buy imported Canadian GMO crops for, for human consumption. Monsanto has a long history of producing toxic chemicals like Agent Orange, PCBs, and Roundup herbicide. Although they promise to solve world hunger, what have they actually achieved? seeds and GMO plant that don't die when sprayed with toxic herbicides and GMO plants that create their own insecticides within each cell. This increases herbicide and pesticide sales for Monsanto who owns the patents on the seeds. GMO is a technology where genes are taken from one species and artificially forced into a different species. For example, some fish can tolerate cold temperatures, but tomatoes cannot. Scientists took the gene for cold tolerance from the fish and put it in the tomato in the hopes that the tomato could re resist frost better. That's not on the market anymore. In Canada, in Canada and the US, there is no labeling and people don't know that the food that they are eating has been genetically modified. And even babies are fed genetically modified soy formula without their parents' awareness. In North America, major food crops have been modified using genetic technology from viruses and bacteria. About 80% of all corn, soy, canola are GMO. There are no health studies. The only studies are short animal feeding studies done by Monsanto and not repeated by any health authority worldwide. Recently, an independent scientist from France did his own studies. He took the same type of rats that Monsanto used in his three-month study, but he took the same rats, fed them the same corn for two years. The results are frightening. The animals are riddled with tumors, riddled with massive tumors. Many had to be euthanized when their tumor mass was more than 25% of their body weight. They had problems with their livers and their kidneys and they died prematurely to name a lot of other problems. Oh. Well, you know what? We're eating it. <laughs> cannot afford to feel safe as Canada and the US are pushing to approve more GMO products like alfalfa, which is a hay, non-browning apples, and genetically engineered salmon. 
Unfortunately, cross-contamination between GMO and natural crops in North America will force Germany and force all of Europe to accept higher and higher limits of contamination. No. Germany allows GMO corn and soy to be imported as animal feed. So you are eating milk and meat from animals fed GMOs. You're getting it through the back door. I once was proud to call myself a Canadian, but I am now ashamed that our country is growing these anti-foods. I need your help in stopping GMO at its source. Canada and the GMO. Boo! Boo! Thank you, Berlin. Thank you, Europe, for being on the right side of this food fight. We, we must win this battle as the changes to the seats can never be undone. And they will spread uncontrollably forever and eventually organic will cease to exist. Truly it is one world and one future. I have one request, one sentence. I want to send a message to our Prime Minister, our Ch Chancellor, Stephen Harper. Will you help me tell? Will you help me tell? No to GMO. Harper say no to GMO. Harper say no to GMO. Harper say no to Monsanto. Harper say no to Monsanto. Thank you, Berlin. Thank you, Heidi from Canada. Thank you for coming here and supporting us.